Welcome to Quick Learning. Today we are going to learn how to get a list of PM notifications using IW29 command. Previously, we have already learned a brief introduction of this command in our uh, last videos like how to get the list of PM notifications. But in this video, we are going in a detailed review how to <coughs> learn completely with all the details, with all the parameters, with all the required information to get the list of PM notifications. So here we are going to start. <coughs> Sorry. I will press IW29 in my T code bar. I will press enter. And now a screen is visible in front of you. First of all, I'll try to explain the meaning and the purpose of each of these tabs so that we can put our required data and get our desired results accordingly. From the top, we have five to six options outstanding, postponed, in process, completed, etc. So this is showing the what will be the status of notification that are we that we are going to get from the list. Like are we going are we going for the outstanding notification for the postponed ones for in process or completed? We can check mark any one of these to get our desired results. Coming down, this table is for the notification selection uh, specifically. In the first tab, it's notification if we have. A number of some notification or we have a list of notification I will just go in this multiple selection tab of notification this one I will press this not, uh, multiple selection bar and I will just copy from my clipboard all the notifications that I want to uh, get in my list I will copy all of these here. I will paste all of these in this table. I will just press F8 to execute. And these all will appear in my notification tab. I will just press execute button. And I will be able to see all the details of those notifications. This is the first tab. The second one is the notification type. Here I have to write what type of notification that I want to search either it's uh, m1 or m2 or m3 and what are the notification types that i really want uh, that i want to search in my system for example for maintenance module normally we see the data of m1 that is unplanned maintenance m2 that is planned m3 is health safety m4 is internal calibration m5 is external calibration so normally we use M1 to M6 notifications in PM module. So from this tab, I can get only this type of notifications in my data. So third one is the functional location. What is the functional location of a plant or a warehouse about which I want to get the notifications? For example, for a particular like production area or a plant or a production line or a, a, a production unit or some quality instrument or quality area quality lab etc so it will give me the list of all the notifications that are related to this function location going down i have the equipment if i know the number of the equipment like it's some machinery you know or it's some uh, you know the specific type of instrument I will just write its equipment number here and it will give me all the notifications that are ever created that is in process of completed about this equipment so the next one is the material if I have some material codes available for those material codes I want to get the list of notifications I will just write the material code here and it will show me all the notifications that are created again for this material code. So similarly, uh, if I go to multiple selection, I can add the list of notifications as well. 
so it is my option if I have one material code, I have one equipment or one functional location or if I have a list of functional locations or equipment etc I will just put it in my table after pressing the uh, multiple selection tab so going down it's serial number same is for the serial number if I have serial number of my equipment or machines I will put it here <coughs> it's order if I have some maintenance order numbers for which I want to get the list of notifications I will put these maintenance order numbers here going down its notification date if I want to get notification in a particular period of time I will just enter that single date or a range of date and it will give me all the notifications that are created uh, in that duration so going down this table is for general data or administrative data so it is it gives us a wide range of selection for which we uh, further want to apply filter on the data for example you can see here it's the description if we want to apply some filter by description that I want to get those notifications only which have this particular description in them I have created by created on notification time reference date coding priority reported by changed so these are all the specific filters if I want to apply and it and this SAP will show me only the desired data according to my choice the planning plant the planning group plant for work center required start date etc even the purchase order number the purchase order date maintenance plan maintenance item numbers as per our you know maintenance module <coughs> and uh, maintenance activity etc so these are the further filters that are available with us to you know uh, restrict our information as per our you know require, require requirement so and the last tab yeah not the last but it is showing me the malfunction data for example uh, the above table was particularly the, the wider ranges like the plants the purchase orders etc but if I want to get the list of notification as per my uh, breakdown data or malfunctions data then I can put a data here like I want to get a notification that was created against a particular manual function that occurred on this XYZ date then I then I will put that mail function start and end date that I normally put in my maintenance order I put that date I will put that date here in these tabs and it will show me only the uh, those notifications that are created against this particular range of mail function similarly the breakdown even the breakdown duration as well I will get that notification that is created for this duration of breakdown so uh, going down further uh, sorry for this interruption it is again some more filters like the maintenance plant location so this table is related to the location data or account account assignment or the maintenance plan the maintenance plant location room plant selection ABC indicator even cost center the company code business area so I have a long list of filters available with me that I can just apply and I can get any type of information from SAP about these notifications so just going through one simple example I will I want to get the M2 notification notification of this particular functional location so you can see I have put two main filters and this is the equipment for which I want to get the notification and I want to get all these notifications either these are outstanding or postponed or in process or completed then I just want to remove this date filter for example so that it can show me all the available notifications so I have put you can see I have put three uh, entries here the notification type the functional location and the equipment I will press F8 to execute and now it will show me all the notifications that are meeting my criteria so this is the list of notifications 
that are available against this data remember my data was a notification type a functional location and uh, an equipment number this was the equipment number for which these notifications have appeared uh, these are the M2 notification and the functional uh, location was uh, that we have entered uh, in the previous page so these are the notifications that are created we can open any one of these notifications and we can get our required data for example here we can see that against the notification only this maintenance order is created so we can also get we have also got the data of maintenance order against these notifications so this is a very useful command to get the complete details of notification pm notifications we can open any of these we can you know check the uh, duration the malfunction time so this is for 2nd april 2021 there is no uh, maintenance order created against this notification i can go to next tab this is the malfunction stat this is for 2nd uh, april this is the scheduled overview i can see here the start date end date etc so th this is the maintenance further maintenance plan it is for khs flow mixer this is the task list for which this uh, maintenance notification was created this is a pm notification so this is showing me that this is a scheduled maintenance notification that was created automatically in month of april to perform these three activities check the electrical cabinets check the dates of cpu batteries check co2 filter so this notification was uh, uh, an automatic created notification created in month of april to perform these activities on this machine that is flow mixer so in this way you know just entering my required uh, two to three parameters i am able to get uh, all the required details of uh, my maintenance notification my maintenance order activities etc thank you so much for this video if you have any question you can just put in uh, our description please like share and subscribe to our channel uh, thank you bye bye